It was billed as a Judgment Day double header at the Millennium Stadium with the four Welsh sides in the Pro 12 involved. And the first of the two matches saw Dragons face Scarlets. Scarlets fifth in the table and looking for a tenth win in a row against Dragons, who were playing at the Millennium for the first time in the team's history. They came into the match looking for a change in fortune after a big defeat against Ospreys last time out. The early exchanges were tight, although Scarlets dominated possession and territory, and Owen no. Williams had a chance to open the scoring in the 11th minute, but his kick was just wide, and it remained scoreless. However, midway through the first half, a significant moment. The Scarlets' maul was working effectively, and Dragons were struggling to cope with it. Having issued a warning earlier, referee Peter Fitzgibbon blew for a penalty and produced a yellow card for Toby Falatau when he Number collapsed the maul. Ten minutes in the bin for the Welsh international. This time Williams made no mistake, and after 19 minutes, yes. Scarlets were 3-0 up. Simon Easterby's side built on that lead in the 27th minute, and it was an absolutely gorgeous try. When Dragons cleared their lines, Williams ran back at them and fed Alad Davies, who in turn popped it up for the onrushing George North. And the Welsh international winger showed why he's such a sought-after player with a devastating burst of speed to see him cross the line for the first try of the match. Fantastic play from the Scarlets and a deserved reward for their endeavours and an example of why the returning north is so important to this side. Williams converted just short of the half-hour mark, it was 10-0. Dragons weren't giving the Scarlets too much to worry about and that was until the 36th minute when a marvellous piece of opportunism from scrum half Jonathan Evans caught the Scarlets out with a pick and run and when he scooted to the line nobody was going to catch him. Somewhat against the run of play, Dragons were right back in it. When Tom Pridey put the conversion between the posts, it was a three-point game. And with the last kick of the half, Pridey levelled the scores. The sides went into the dressing rooms, ten yes. points apiece. Scarlets continued to dominate in the early stages of the second nice half, and five minutes after the restart, Williams made it 13-10. A few minutes later, Dragons produced a moment of magic. Dan Evans made the initial break from inside his own 22. He found Will Harris, who took off with half the Scarlets team in pursuit. Wonderful rugby, which unfortunately for Dragons, failed to produce tangible reward as Harris' pass to Pat Leach was eventually fumbled. Pridey and Williams exchanged penalties soon after to leave Scarlet 16-13 ahead. And then the try-scoring spark started to fly. Scarlet's returning international centre, Scott Williams and John Davies, did the damage in the 66th minute. Williams' burst through was brilliant, and when he fed Davies, the man making his 100th start for the Scarlets still had work to do. He crossed the line, but the referee asked for the assistance of the TMO before awarding the try. After deliberating for a few moments, the word from the TMO was positive and Scarlets had a little bit of breathing space when Owen Williams converted to give them a 10-point lead, 23-13. Straight from the kick-off, Scarlets put the match to bed. Davies won the ball initially and when they found North on the wing, he sprinted to the line. His speed too much for his pursuers. His second try of the afternoon, Scarlets third and suddenly the bonus point was in view. Williams missed the conversion, but Scarlets were cruising 28-13, up with 12 minutes to go. To Dragon's credit, they pressed hard for a score of their own, and five minutes from time, they got one back. As they pressed the Scarlets line, out half Dan Evans received it and made a lunge for the try line. There was some doubt about whether he touched the ball down, so the TMO was called into action again. And once again, he ruled correctly that the try should be awarded. When Pridey converted, Dragons trailed 20 points to 28. After that, neither team could conjure a score for a bonus point. In Scarlet's case, the fourth try, and in Dragons for a losing bonus. But for Scarlet's, a place in the top four come season's end remains a very real prospect. With this win, they moved into fourth spot. But Ospreys, who were up next on the double header, had a chance to regain fourth position with a win against Cardiff. Certainly, these two teams contributed to a very entertaining game. Final score at the Millennium Stadium Dragons 20, Scarlets 28.